Sadhguru Sharanam. Hello dears, how are you all? Do you know why it's important to learn to speak English? Of course, there are many reasons. But the main purpose of learning to speak English is no doubt communication. Today, the world has shrunk into a global village. Wherever we go, we meet people speaking different languages. Here, English acts as a link language that connects people. Do you know? It's spoken by 1.75 billion people all over the world. It's a language of science, computers, aviation, technology, internet and tourism. It increases your chances of getting a good job. So what's the best way to increase your spoken English? So the best way to improve your spoken English is study with a task. So in this video, I'm going to give you a narration of somebody's weekend. How they spend it, whom did they meet, and what discussions they had. We are going to listen that narration. By listening to this, you'll come across a lot of sentences, phrases, expressions that are used in daily life conversations. You will learn in context how to use different tenses correctly. After listening to this, what you have to do is you have to imagine yourself as a narrator and you have to repeat all the sentences several times. Before that, you have to note down all the sentences that I am giving in this video. In the beginning, you can look into the book and say each sentence slowly. You have to visualize all the situations that I have given in this narration. And then you have to recollect all the sentences from your memory. You have to purposefully think in English. Pause for a while. Speak slowly. Repeat the sentences. If you want, you can look into the book. Slowly do this until you are able to narrate the whole piece in a go. So this is the practice that is going to give you confidence and that is going to improve your fluency, no doubt. If you simply listen and just leave it like that, it's not going to do any good for you. On weekends, we usually have an outing. So this is simple present tense. Simple present tense is always used to uh, speak about our daily routines, our hobbies, the things that we do generally. Okay, so here on weekends means on every weekend, we normally do this. Outing means a pleasure trip. Uh, sometimes we visit our friends, sometimes our relatives, sometimes we visit a nearby tourist spot. Last Sunday, we visited Kowalam Beach, which is one of the main highlights of Kerala. So last Sunday means the time is given. When the time is given, you usually use simple past tense. So last Sunday, we visited Kowalam Beach. It's one of the main highlights of Kerala. So note this usage, one of the best places. So always you have to use plural with one of. One of my friends, one of my relatives, one of the places, one of the gifts. Understand? One of the topmost and most visited beaches in Kerala is Kowalam Beach. It means that large number of people visit this beach. Rather than any other beach, people prefer Kowalam Beach. One of the top most and most visited beaches in Kerala is Kowalam Beach, which is also known as the Crescent Beach, as it is constituted of three beaches which form a crescent shape. So here have you noticed the usage of the relative pronoun which? So if you want to know more about relative pronoun, please go and watch the video on relative pronouns. So here which is used as a connector. You can notice that two sentences are given. In the first sentence, it is said that Kowalam is one of the top most and most visited of all the beaches in Kerala. And then the second sentence gives some additional information. What is that? The additional information is that it is known as the Crescent Beach as it is constituted of three beaches which form a crescent shape. Kowalam Beach is formed of three beaches. Together they look like a crescent. So it is called the Crescent Beach. So this is the additional information. And this additional information about Kowalam Beach is attached to the first sentence. So here, which acts as a connector. It relates the additional information to the main information. It replaces the noun Kowalam. So here, which stands for Kowalam. So now I am going back to yesterday's events. We reached there by 1 p.m. So why I used by 1 p.m.? Why didn't I use at 1 p.m.? Here I don't know the sharp time. If you are very much sure about the sharp time, you can use at 1 p.m. But if you want to say that you reached there just by around 1 p.m., you have to use by. That's all. We had our lunch from a five-star hotel there. 
so we had our lunch here had is a main verb which means that we ate our food so we had our lunch from a five star hotel there we ordered italian cuisine so what is cuisine cuisine means regional food we say indian cuisine japanese cuisine chinese cuisine a cuisine is determined by the ingredients that is locally available so indian cuisine means indian delicacies indian food prepared by the ingredients available in india i love puddings now i am giving you a general statement that i love puddings for dessert i ordered kasata here dessert is one of the most confusing words in english here note the spelling d e s s e r t so when double s comes it means some sweet that we usually have after our lunch or dinner and it is pronounced as dessert and the other word is desert d e s c -E r t what is a desert rajasthan desert sahara desert there is also slight difference in the pronunciation to my surprise i met my friend and her family there to my surprise it simply means that i am very much surprised i met my friend and her family there so naturally we introduce our families to each other while they were having a chat that means while they were having a small conversation at that time at the same time so that's the meaning of while while they were having a chat we had a quick discussion on a coming college tour it means that they are going on a college tour very soon we are going to have a seven day trip to goa here please note we should not say seven days trip we should always say seven day trip two day seminar five year course it's not five years course or two days seminar the reason is that we never use adjectives in plural forms here trip seminar course all these are nouns noun means the name of a thing or activity or whatever it is the name is known as noun so trip that's a noun it's a name of a journey so here seven day is an adjective which gives additional information about the noun trip so here seven day is used as an adjective we never use adjectives in plural forms and one more reason is that it is a hyphenated word so hyphenated word always comes in singular here we are going to have a seven day trip to goa a going is present continuous form but present continuous is also used to refer to future i am going to buy a car that means my future plan i am going to now it's not that i am now going to buy a car it's my plan that i am going to buy i am going to visit my friend's house that also shows the future we decided that we would enjoy all the adventure sports there now i am going back to yesterday's conversation we decided yesterday we decided what did we decide we decided we would enjoy all the adventure sports there here this is reported speech just imagine yesterday we were talking with each other i told her we will certainly do all adventure sports this is what i told her yesterday so now i am reporting that to you so it is in reported speech so in reported speech we never use will we have to convert will into its past form so we decided that we would go for all adventure sports there i will certainly enjoy all go and delicacies now i am telling you what's the meaning of delicacies delicacies means rare and expensive food that is considered specially nice to eat go and delicacies kerala delicacies i want to do scuba diving at grand island what is scuba diving you know the full form of scuba diving scuba diving is an acronym what's the meaning of acronym acronym is a shortened word It's a word formed from the initial letters of other words and is considered as a word. Example NASA NEAT. Like that scuba is a acronym. And what's the full form of scuba? Self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. We normally pronounce this word apparatus, but the real pronunciation is apparatus. I've heard that cruising at Mandavi River fills your heart with thrill and excitement. Cruising. What is cruising? journey for pleasure on a large ship this word is also often wrongly pronounced it's not cruising it is cruising lush tropical trees on both sides of the river create a serene environment that leaves the travelers awestruck lush tropical trees tropical means regions that lie in the middle of the globe india is a tropical country so trees growing in tropical areas are called tropical trees 
lush tropical trees means abundantly plenty of tropical trees so there are plenty of trees on both sides of the river and it creates a serene environment serene means very peaceful tranquil environment that leaves the travelers awestruck travelers are filled with wonder that's the meaning of that leaves the travelers awestruck this is yet another word that is often mispronounced spelling is a w e s t r u c k we normally say a struck but the real pronunciation is awestruck we okay, coming back to our conversation meanwhile i enquired why she had been absent the previous day enquire and inquire are two of the most commonly confused words in english the basic meaning is investigation if we ask for some information we can say that we enquired but inquiry means it's really official investigation police investigation official investigation it's called inquiry so meanwhile means in between the discussion that's the meaning of meanwhile these are connectors we have to use these connectors to give a flow to our speech in between the conversation i enquired what did i enquire i enquired why she had been absent the previous day so here it is reported speech so yesterday just imagine why were you absent yesterday that question i am reporting to you today so i have to use past perfect why were you absent so what's the past perfect of where had been so in reported speech i enquired why she had been absent the previous day so yesterday becomes previous day i told her i had tried to contact her on phone but couldn't get her so here also you can see past tense and past perfect i told her is past tense two events happened in the past come in a sentence we have to use past perfect to refer to the first event what happened first i tried to contact her then i told her about that yesterday so the second thing is i told her okay so i told her that i had tried to contact her on phone but couldn't get her she told me that she had been sick again past perfect after spending the golden hours of that evening on the beach watching the sunset we bade goodbye to each other so bade is the past tense of bid bid means utter say so we bade goodbye means we said goodbye to each other do you know the real meaning of goodbye ah goodbye is the contraction of god be with you when we say goodbye to others we are wishing that god be with them so here comes the end of our narration so what you have to do is you note down all the sentences in a notebook and start practicing now itself so if you like this video please let me know that and don't forget to subscribe and share so see you in the next video until then take care bye bye sadguru e sharanam